Hello, welcome to some more early morning barking. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to the video and all of that stuff and the socially things are scrolling past. This is going to be difficult today. I'm going to, uh, right. BPD and a shifting, changing sense of self. This is a difficult one. If you are in any way triggered by somebody telling you something you maybe don't want to hear, this video is not for you, okay? If if things about this particular subject, your self-image, who and what you are, all of that, if somebody suggesting that you might not be 100% on that is something that upsets you and makes you scream and cry, don't watch the next 10 minutes of video, please. It's gonna make you scream and cry and feel really bad and all of that, and I, I don't wanna hurt you, but this is this is some harsh stuff, okay? So consider yourself warned. Right. So a shifting sense of self and all of that. What's uh, this? This is about the the inner discussion of who am I? What am I? What what kind of person am I? What do I do? What am I like? Not in the Yorkshire sense, but more in the sort of what what do I how do I react to things? What kind of person am I? When people look at me, what what do they see? All of this stuff. Now, the first thing you've got to understand is that this is one of those things that most people, most mentally sound, healthy people, don't think about this ever. That, that's the difficult bit. We're all running on, on manual with this, like I've talked about before. We're, we're controlling stuff we're not supposed to be able to control. And so most people don't worry about this. They never give it a second thought. This, who am I? What, this, what is my identity? What, what do I mean to the world? All of this. It's not something people think about. They just get on with their lives. There are a lot of aspects related to personality and a sense of self that, that, that put so many people in, in mental anguish and turmoil. But for the majority, these things are not a concern. They just don't enter their head on a daily basis. And so just by virtue of asking these questions, this is sort of the fact that we're having this discussion at all is proof that there is a problem here. Okay. Now, moving on from that, how did it manifest in me? Well, what I did and what I gather a lot of people with BPD tend to do is you sort of absorb things from other places. You absorb personalities, you absorb speech patterns and attitudes and opinions and reactions, most crucially. Um, and these things, once you get hold of them, tend to become fantastically important because they're all you've got, right? And we grasp onto anything. And this ends up with a lot of problems in the area of people feeling that what they are is who they are. Okay. You can start to see why this gets into some really sort of tricky areas. And I'm by no means telling everybody that what they think they are is not what they think they are or what they feel is wrong or anything like that. But as we do this, as we navigate this world and try to compile this personality from different places, we inevitably end up with some things that are wrong, that are not suited to us, things that at the time we feel are right for us, but are most certainly not. We make changes that we shouldn't make and deeply regret later. You remember my, my best advice video? Don't do anything. 
if something is the right thing for you to do, if it's the right change to make, then it will still be the right change to make tomorrow. And, and, and this area specifically is one where we can make massively big changes in a very short amount of time with huge kind of huge uh, problems that come with those changes. And we might do it on a whim or decide we're wrong tomorrow. Right now, that that period of of sureness of certainty can have varying degrees of severity to it. This might result in just buying a whole new wardrobe of clothes. It might result in you closing a business. It might result in you starting a course of treatment for something. I, I, do you understand? There could be some serious things here. And whether you are these things or you're not these things, you still have this other thing, which is the lack of sense of self, right? That is definitely there. And I can only imagine that making these other things that you might be even more difficult to deal with. But what you have to take into account is this thing over here, right? This is saying, you're not that, you're not that, you're not this. What am I? And then over here, you've got real life saying, well, maybe you're this, maybe you're that, maybe you like this thing, maybe you want to do this thing. And it's just all going in here all the time. I got a lot of my identity from being the podcast guy. I ran the network. That was that my entire identity was was caught up in that in being that person. I really didn't like every aspect of that person. The reactions, the way I dealt with things, the way I talked to people, all that kind of thing. Everything that person was, I, I didn't really like. And so I had to get, get the hell rid of it, shut it down, make it go away. That, that was all bad. I spent 15 years thereabouts filling up this bucket of personality with crap. Not exclusively though. And we'll talk some more about absorbing personalities in the future because it's that in itself is a big thing and it's, it's not really a marker. <clears throat> but that lack of self is a very confusing thing. It's a very unsettling thing. And it really affects how we behave on a day to day because we're trying to be seen by the world in a particular way. And that thing with the way we're trying to be seen shifts so constantly. And it makes us annoying and irritating, and it makes us also rather confusing and difficult to deal with. And it, it also means that some of the time we behave inappropriately and badly. It's, it, it's very difficult to deal with. And it, th this is something I, I've dealt with by writing stuff down again. And that whole, what do I like? How do I react? What is me? What is me? The big question in life that any of us are trying to get answered at any given moment. And I see a lot of other people trying to answer this question. Twitter's a goldmine for this, right? I, I usually work on the basis of how many emojis somebody has after their username. I am these things. Well, I'm not sure how I feel about that. You might be those things, but they're not you as such, you know? And the fact that you're thinking about these things is indication that there is a problem there because these are things that most people don't think about. 
and those that line of emojis is that declaration to the world look at the little facets of my personality that i've i've put together these things mean i'm a person and that's not what they mean at all this is honestly the length of emojis is an indication of the length of the problem that that that's what i really believe and i it, it's all about trying to find that sense of self and trying to find out who am i what defines me and let me tell you the thing that defines you is nothing to do with what you are or what you like, or what you're into. None of that. Because really, the truth is, the world doesn't care what you are. I'm sorry. I know that's really difficult to take. We live in a world where everybody has something Everybody's got a thing. Everybody's got a need for a list of emojis after their name. And anyone who doesn't take into account this list of emojis is a horrible, hateful person and wants them to die, etc. And that's, again, simply not true. The truth is, is that this list of emojis are things that the rest of the world don't give a crap about. They don't think about. They aren't defined by that list of emojis. They're defined by who they are and what they do, the way they affect the world around them. That's what defines us, how we make other people feel about themselves, how we affect the lives of people that come into contact with us. That's, that's the who we are. When we want people to speak of us fondly and lovingly, the truth is we get them to feel that way about us by being people that are likable and caring and thoughtful and empathic and that try to create a positive effect in the world and on the other people that we come into contact with. The attitude of garnering a list of emojis and then screaming and crying when the world doesn't care about your list of emojis is not becoming a person. That's not a personality. That's just being a dick and finding a way to be a dick and finding a way to make everything bad in the world about you because isn't your life so tough? Aren't you the only one suffering because of all of these things and the world just doesn't care about you? The world doesn't care about you. You are not special. You are not a unique snowflake. You, you are just another fucking bag of meat and goo walking around the planet like the rest of us. Right? You're not special. I'm not special. We're just here doing this. One day we'll be dead. People will forget us in a couple of years. And eventually it will be like we never fucking existed. Maybe some of us will get lucky and create something that lives longer than we do. And people will go, oh, who made that? So and so. All right. OK. And then forget about us. Maybe that's the best you can hope for. Right. How many movie stars from decades ago, who were the biggest thing in the world at the time, have you never heard of? None of us are special. None of us are important. None of us really mean anything, except to the people who are immediately in our lives, for the time that those people are immediately in our lives. And how we affect them and how we treat them is how we're thought of and how we're remembered. And that is what starts to help you become a person. It's not about getting angry and upset when the world doesn't give you what you want it to. And this lack of sense of self is a great area to get upset with the rest of the world because it's not giving you what you want it to. And the truth is what you have to do is slow down, take a breath, do nothing, like I said, and deal with this sense of self thing that's going on. 
because that that bit is so important. I've reached this point in the video where I, I don't know that I'm still making sense. I, I don't know if this is going to connect with you. It, it's so personal and unique in its experience. We, we lose ourselves so easily in, in, in jobs, in relationships, in, in other aspects of life. And we, we mistakenly take on this feeling that those things that we do are what we are. And that's just not true. It, it, it's just not the case. What you are has nothing to do with who you are. It's all about you, you, just how you fit into your community, how you fit into your space and how others see you. There's no thing to worry about. There, there's just, see, I'm tripping over words now. It's such a frustratingly difficult thing to explain and to give advice about. You're the only one really that knows what's right for you and what you're happy and comfortable with. I guess what I'm saying is while I understand what you're going through, take your time with things. Listen to that that inner voice that's actually saying sometimes, I know you think you should like this, but you don't. Please stop it. You know, I, I've done things like, I, I feel I should like doing this. This I feel this is something that should fit into my personality. But the truth is it isn't, and I don't like it. And you continue to do things that make you unhappy because you think, no, this is definitely what I am. This is definitely what I should be doing. And you do things that make you unhappy. And you'll stick to it and grasp onto it like, like for dear life. But really all it's doing is hurting you even more. God, you see, this is a complicated topic and I've just seen the length of time I've been recording for and I, I don't feel like I've actually said anything. It's, it's so complicated and perhaps you can help me out with it a bit. I know there's still a lot to cover. We have to talk about different personality masking and, and, and personality absorption and, and all of this stuff that all connects into it. But like I say, this is difficult. This is difficult to deal with, more so for some than others. And again, just to finish, I, I don't want to tell you that you're wrong. It's not what I'm trying to tell you. Not at all. I'm just trying to help you to understand that getting caught up in being something or having something or, or whatever, that's not a personality. That is not who you are. You can be all these things and have all these things. And it's, it's, that's fine. But you still have to fit into the world. You still have to be a person and live with others. And if you want those others to think well of you, you have to be a person that is well thought of. And just being things does not achieve that goal. You, you have to be a good person. You have to care about other people and what they feel. And maybe if you care about what other people feel and go through, other people will care about you and what you go through. Rather than just kicking off at the world because it's not working the way you've decided it should today. And we do horrible things in the name of that. We hurt so many people in the name of believing that the world should be working how we've decided it should be. And we just kick and scream and fight when it doesn't. And that's, that's not going to get you anywhere. This is the stuff that made me decide to stop being self-righteous and self-proclaiming of what is good and what is bad and who is right and who is wrong and all of this stuff. Because the truth is, I don't know. And the truth is nobody else does either. Nobody's got a better clue than me. We're all just trying to do the best we can and not hit our microphone all the time while we're making YouTube videos. I need a shotgun mic or something. 
Sorry if it makes a banging noise. I'm getting anime. I should stop talking today. God, we've passed 20 minutes. Right. Thank you for listening, everybody. Please, you know, explain to me what you go through with this one. Because I've only got my frame of reference for it. And it's only so useful. I I never reached the point where I wanted to do anything unchangeably drastic to my life. Although, yeah, I've made some pretty stupid changes. That's fair to say. Anyway, you lot look after yourself, okay? Take care. I'll see you later. Bye.